Light contact, guys. You can still make contact with those ribs. Just don't hurt them. But make contact. It's good for the guy to feel a knuckles, the knuckles on the ribs. Make a little more contact. He needs to, yeah. You know, like you guys will get more comfortable. It's good that we're going soft. That's what I'm looking for. But don't be afraid to touch a little and then talk to each other about it. And then go, yeah, that's actually not a problem. Especially with Gino. Gino's probably fine. He wants to fight, so just, yeah, just touch him. It's fine, huh, Gino? Tell him. Oh, see? See now, but that's why I'm, we're starting low and then we don't, we don't go too much too fast. Switch. Wait, you see what I mean? Yeah. Switch. Okay. Are we rolling? We're rolling. I'm not rolling anymore tonight. I'm tired. <laughs> Let's show you guys a technique. It doesn't have the right sound. Teach me grappling. What's up, everybody? Uh, this is Dave Weber right here. Stud uh, uh, MMA guy, uh, jiu-jitsu, everything. But uh, from back in the day, one of my old fighters from years, years past and still training to this day. Um, Guys, what we want to uh, show you guys tonight, we had a little MMA class, and we're doing some basic over-under clinch. I have shown you guys in the recent videos some over-under stuff, takedowns out of the over-under, stuff like that. Um, I wanna talk about, just briefly, about this idea. Um, when we get in this over-under, remember, underhooks are important, guys. Um, if you think too much about striking, you kinda get dominated if you're just striking. And this is the problem when people get into MMA, and they don't have uh, coaches that teach them a good foundation of um, underhooks. So underhooks are very important. So tonight what I did with the guys was teach them to always control the underhook and always try to lift the underhook and, and dominate your opponent. Um, obviously that's a, 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 a situation where if I have a guy like Dave, he's really strong, he's stronger than me, he might be able to lift me all day long and I'm kind of like up here, you notice. And now look at my, the effectiveness of my punches right now. Okay, you see that? And then look at this one right here. I mean, in the sport, I can't hit the back of the head. You know, so this is an illegal strike if I do it. Um, I can't really punch the side of his face. And I don't know if you can see, just pan down, look at my toes. <laughs> I'm on my toes right now because he's lifting me up. If I try to sag down, man, you can see my position's horrible. All because of his underhook. Okay, now go ahead and lift that up, Dave. And now look, look at Dave's punches now. I got my underhook, and look at his punches, the ribs. Yeah, look at the stomach. He brings it in the bread basket, and then he cocks it around. Look at it, pop the shoulder, gets a little space, and hits me right in the chin like that. Go ahead, pop that again. Boom, right there. Now, you gotta be real careful if you're gonna train um, elbows, if you don't have elbow pads. This move can be done with an elbow. Go ahead, Dave. He's gonna bump, bump me, and he can bring an elbow across right there, right to my face. Um, that's a great technique, but when you're training guys, be very careful. You may not know, you, hopefully you do. This part is so sharp, and sometimes like even like right here, all of this right here can cut. Sometimes that part just like gets scratched, a little graze, and you can get a serious cut from it. So um, be careful if you ever train those. Um, you know, here's on the other side again. If he lifts this up, I'm out of position and he's in better position to strike over here. And it's hard for me to block, guys. And then look, I start trying to do this to block his punches and he's keeping his underhook up and now we can get into other positions. Like he could do a hip throw, he could like throw me, he could start pummeling right now see and get to my body and it's really hard so it's important that you keep yourself neutral that you keep yourself balanced when I get into the over under if Dave's lifting me up I've got to make sure that I bring this down to a nice healthy position so if he is lifting it, it I'm keeping weight on this side I've got to keep some weight here I can't just let somebody push me around and that's what happens if you get to striking too much like for example we're neutral, and then the first thing I do is think, I should punch this guy in the face. So I start punching, and then look what I gave him. I gave him what he wanted, a nice, good body lock. Look at that. 
See that? And now, what good is my punch? I might have hit him once, like barely, and I just gave away positioning, and then he dominates me. Either like this, or he out pummels me, or he goes behind me, and now you're gonna get your ass kicked. So try, try to remember that, guys. I don't wanna get too excited about striking, so I want you to think like this. My job is weaken his underhook, strengthen my underhook, so that I have a strong one, I'm more than 50-50. We're not playing 50-50 here. We're going to weaken him. So here's how I do it. Even if he kind of gets a little high, I'm going to bring my arm back and down, close my elbow. As I'm here, I put a little weight, and then I'm going to hit him with my right shoulder. I've shown you guys this before. I call it the shake. I'm going to go right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder. And once I do that, it lowered his underhook. Now, once I, I have his weak over here, now I'm pinching his wrist. I'm keeping mine up. And again, it may not be like way up here, but as long as it's just up, like go ahead, uh, get into it. Yeah, like right there. Put a little pressure on that side. Like uh, your head down over there. No, 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 over there. Yeah. Okay, now watch guys. Look at his rib shots right now, go. See, even though my underhook's not high, I'm opening my elbow I'm not letting him reach me with a lot of power. Okay, if I brought my arm like this, he could really hit me hard. So I'm gonna keep this up. And then now over here, now look at my position. I can do this, and if Dave tries to raise his elbow, you see right here, I'm now gonna pop him and hit him right there in the ear. So I, I'm trying to go here, he's trying to raise that elbow. I'm gonna pop and then punch right there in the side of his jaw or his ear. Um, it's very important you guys weaken the underhook. Don't let somebody up here. If they're here, not only can they out grapple you, they can out strike you as well. Okay, so we have to know that shake. Bring the elbow down, keep mine up as much as I can. Shake, push that, weaken it. Once you've weakened it sufficiently, it's time to start striking. Knees to the, to the thighs, maybe I foot stomp, and then I strike. Punches to the ribs, strike. You see how if you punch under here, sometimes that might get a reaction of closing the elbow, which further opens the shot instead of him lifting the elbow, which is kind of the only way he can kind of avoid it. Um, I'll just talk about it. He can also do what's called like a shoulder roll. He can lift his shoulder and then roll the punch. See like that from this angle. So when I bump him, he can shoulder roll right there and try to avoid the punch. So if you guys were thinking about how you are gonna avoid it, if, if, the, if I weaken his underhook, if I push him down right here and I check that shot, you don't wanna get hit in the face, so you can shoulder roll right there, okay, and try to avoid it. Um, so the underhooks are really important. I had a guy tonight when we were drilling, he would constantly do really good punches, punch, 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 and then off the exchange, they were supposed to pummel to the other side. But instead of pummeling the other side, he would just get like a collar tie. And then a lot of people use the term dirty boxing. This is not wrong, it's good. But now when I try a dirty box right here, you see Dave just walks right in and just starts mauling me. And, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, at the low levels of MMA guys, I see all too much people without, I'm kind of repeating myself from the beginning of this video, people all too much, don't have a good grappling foundation and they get caught up in the f punches they get caught up in it they, they throw a punch and then they're like yeah i'm gonna keep hitting you i'm gonna keep hitting and then yeah you hit him two or three times and then he got his favorite body lock slams you into the ground and then now you better hope you better hope you have a guard or or some type of uh, way of getting back to your feet because otherwise you get mounted and then somebody big and strong like dave's gonna get on top of you and pound you out in the mount so guys learn how to use underhooks they're so important uh the fundamental pummeling drill right here needs to be done always like all of your practices you need to be pummeling okay pummeling and developing balance uh the first thing i feel when when somebody's a beginner at pummeling they start swaying like go ahead and pummel with me and i'll react like this is what dave feels he, He's swinging me side to side with his underhooks. 
You guys got to develop a base. Go ahead and try to do that now. So I'm using my feet. I don't know if you can see it, but my, my structure is strong and I'm in there. So when you got to have a good pummel game. When you have a good pummel game, you're strong in the clinch. You can push guys against the fence. We showed you guys on a video about how to not get pushed against the fence. You'll, you'll have this structure right here. If we're going back to the wall, and we're here, and Dave's pushing me. You know, if he's a strong clinch guy, look at his positioning right here. Spine looks really strong, head tilted a little bit. He's not gonna get knee in the face. He's ready to go, he's pushing me, and I can't like get out of here. I get shoved against the fence. Look what I gave him, I gave him a strong underhook. Don't let people do this. Okay, next thing you know, he drops down to a double leg, snatches your legs. Okay, when you guys get in here, even if you are not gonna be able to turn him, if he's gonna push me against the fence, go. See, we're here, now look. It looks much more even now. We're both in a good position. I'm, my back is against the fence, but I'm not necessarily totally out of position. Dave throws the punches. Look at the punches. Okay, look at how weak they are. And then he goes to my head. See, it's really tough for Dave to hit me in the head. Now watch. Look at this. Raises the elbow. Now, no, no, come over here so you can see the shots. Now look at this, guys. Domination. Now I have to do this. See, now we're in this fight like here. This is where Dave's controlling the fight. So I lost my, my good underhook. I want to keep a good underhook. If I'm here and he's doing that position to me, I want to like get him here. So now I can pump him off and try to scoot and turn. There's more to it. Remember the twists on the other video. So I just want to mention, use your underhooks. Don't let people dominate your underhook. If you're getting into MMA, guys, get a good grappling foundation. Build up your pummeling skills. Lift those underhooks up. And then you can start throwing in your punches. And then later on when you're skilled, then go to the collar tie. But don't get too excited about the collar tie in the beginning. Man, the beginner gets in the, in the, in the MMA fight and does this and tries to dirty box, and some guy, some wrestler, just body locks the shit out of you, okay? Until you really learn good hip position, learn your underhooks, okay? Dave, you got anything to say? I'm kind of rambling. I don't think you covered it, yeah. at least once. At least <laughs> once, at least once, I, everybody's like, dude, your videos are too long, bro. Hope you guys got something from that. Thank you guys so much. Teach Me Grappling, click the link down below at Patreon, PayPal. We'll be back for more. Um, so many more things to go over, guys. I got, I got ideas in my head every day. Um, people are giving me uh, uh, ideas as well. You guys are sending me messages. So I got a lot of stuff on the, on the agenda already. Um, when I get bored, I'll ask for more. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. We'll see you later. Teach me grappling. That was good. Thank you. I don't have anything funny to say. We're done. <laughs>